Hey guys, welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs dynasty and our quest to repeat as national championships is continuing today as we take on the Kentucky Wildcats in Lexington. We have won seven straight games this season, 15 straight total dating back to last year after our loss to Auburn. And this has just been a great ride so far. Let's see if we can continue that today against the Wildcats who have been struggling, losing four straight. Bulldogs on offense first. Here's Bryson Davis with a counter going right side. First down and more. Spinning a couple guys out. Nice 16-yard pickup. He's got 549 yards on the season. Four touchdowns on 71 rushes. And triple option here from Joseph. And he'll keep it himself, pick up maybe nine yards on the left side. So he faked it to Justin Garrett, the backup fullback. Second and one, Kenny Harding up the gut. First down and more. That was about an eight-yard pickup for the true freshman fullback. And he has been a beast this season. Joseph with the option pass here, going deep to Orlando Webb, and he's got him inside the 20-yard line. Now inside the red zone looking to put some points on the board. That's a good start to the day for Mississippi State. 25-yard pickup by Webb. Here's Harding up the gut. He'll pick up four or five more yards. Second and five. Toss play to Davis who squeezes through the defense somehow. Stiff arms a man and gets taken down about an inch shy of the goal line. What a run by Bryson Davis. First and goal, Justin Garrett walks into the end zone for an easy touchdown. Big fullback hasn't had a lot of snaps this year behind Harding, but he makes it count on that one. Buenge loses seven or eight yards on a toss play, and that was Neil Nelson, our defensive captain, making the stop. Second and 16, Wagner throwing left side wide open as Williamson. Nice spin move, and he is crushed and fumbles it. Michael Galar will recover it at the 37-yard line. Let's see who got the big hit on Williamson to force that ball loose. It's a nice spin move, and that was George Tyler who lit him up. What a play by the sophomore safety. Joseph hands to Davis, and he'll drag a defender close to the first down, about an inch shy. Second and inches. Joseph going to throw it. Scrambling left side. Throws it deep. And they're going to throw a flag for offensive pass interference on Jensen. I'm not sure what the ref was looking at there. Bad call, but moving along now. Second and 15 after the BS call. Here's Harding up the middle. Picks up about seven yards. Third down, Joseph looking to throw it, goes right side, and Davis is crushed and fumbles it, and Vaughn will recover it. Nice tackle by Underwood, that's his 82nd tackle on the season. He also has one sack and a pick. Bulldogs do punt the ball away. Wildcats back on offense, here's Buenge with the first down run, nice 11-yard pickup, and that gets the Wildcats back over zero yards rushing. Shotgun formation, Wagner keeping it himself, crushed, and he fumbles it, and that is recovered by Stanton, a fourth string corner, doesn't get a whole lot of playing time, and he makes the most of it there, nice fumble recovery, Joseph options left side, Bryson Davis, nice block by Justin Garrett, nice juke move by Davis up to the 13, another great run on the season for Bryson Davis, he's got 53 yards today on four carries. First and 10, Davis once again, right side, and he is crushed. Almost gets the first down there. Second and inches upcoming. Now third and inches. Toss play to Davis, and he jukes, and he gets over the goal line for another touchdown for MSU. They are now on top 14 to nothing. So Wildcats are struggling right now. Looking to get on the board. Nice one-handed snag by Williamson. Picks up the first down and more. And he held on to the ball. That was the, the key part of that play. Play action from Wagner. Rolling out right side. Pump fakes. Throws it deep. 
And it is caught by Blair at the 21 yard line. Unbelievable play by Wagner. Heck of a throw. Perfect spiral. Chucked it about 50 yards downfield to Blair. Now in the second quarter, third down. Wagner going to the end zone, incomplete. Wildcats will send on the field goal unit. Pharrell has struggled this season, 11 of 20. And the kick is up, and it did not have a chance from the start. That is no good. He is now 11 of 21 on the year. Bulldogs take over, back on offense now. They hand it off to Tremaine Young, who fumbles it, and that is recovered by Garrett, but not Justin Garrett. Wildcats take over. The Bulldogs turn it over for the first time today. Second and ten, Wagner hits Pew close to the first down marker. A couple inches shy, makes it third and manageable. Third and one. Wagner rolling right, throwing right, deflected away, almost picked off by Lindsey. Wildcats will go for it, not trusting their kicker at all, and it was a good choice as Johnson almost gets it in the end zone. Ben Sutton finally tracked him down at the one-yard line. But Blenge will walk into the end zone for the easy touchdown there. 14-7 now. Wildcats get on the board. Joseph hands to Bryson Davis up the middle. He'll pick up five or six yards. His ground game has just been nasty this season. And Joseph fumbles it and it is recovered by Garrett once again. It looked like he just stole the ball right out of his hands as he was making the tackle. Let's take a look at the replay here. And that's exactly what had happened right there. Just took it right from Joseph's hands. What a play by the linebacker. Wildcats looking to tie it up. They go left side to Chang, who makes the catch, picks up about seven yards. Huge hit by McCray. Second and three. Wagner's going to throw it again here. Deep to the end zone. Caught by Blair for the touchdown. Just an easy jump ball for Blair. Kramer never turned his head around. Tie ball game at 14. Here's Bryson Davis squeezing through the defense somehow, picking up nine yards. He's averaging 10 yards per carry today. Has 80 yards on eight carries with one touchdown. And here he goes again. He is gone. Unbelievable. Wasn't even touched. But oh no, there is a flag. And that is holding on our fullback, Kenny Harding. That will drop us back to the 30-yard line. What an unbelievable bonehead mistake. Joseph with the option. Pitches it out to Davis, who's got it past midfield. Breaks the tackle up to the 48-yard line. He's got 636 yards on the season now. Second and 10, Joseph, options left side this time. Keeps it himself, past the 30, Jukes, up to the 25 yard line. Great run by Todd. Second and six, Joseph's gonna option right side, still going, pitches it back to Tremaine Young. And Joseph probably should have kept the ball there. Now third and one. Toss play to Davis, and a very weird animation there. And that'll cost the Bulldogs a yard. And they'll send on Mike Randall for the field goal attempt to make it 17 to 14 here in Lexington, Kentucky. Kick is up, and it is right down the middle. 52 yard drive, capped off by a field goal by Mike Randall. And there's Wood with a nice catch up to the 40 yard line. Three consecutive completions for Wagner who's been really impressive today so far. Not the best completion percentage, but he has delivered great passes like that one, right past the defender's hand for a big time pickup, maybe 20 yards. First and 10, Wagner is sacked, and that is Neil Nelson coming in on the blitz, getting his fourth sack on the season. Second and 14, Johnson, the big fullback up the gut, breaks a tackle, and he'll get about nine yards. Third and five now, less than a minute to go in the first half. Wagner goes deep and Chang lays out and makes the catch. Great effort, that puts Wagner over 2,000 passing yards on the season. 11 touchdowns, 11 picks, he's gonna throw it again here to the end zone and Blair beats Donnie Kramer for the second touchdown of the game. Wildcats take the lead. Bulldogs are playing really sloppy right now. 
And this is, it might cost him this game. It's a hostile crowd right now. Kenny Harding picks up nine yards up the middle. He's got six touchdowns on the season with 378 yards. But you could definitely feel the crowd getting into it as Joseph breaks loose left side past midfield. This crowd is hyped. They want their team to turn their season around and get a huge time win over the number two team in the country. Joseph with all day to throw it. He's going to take off instead. Jukes runs out to the right side trying to get the sideline, and he does. He gets out of bounds with four seconds to go. Just enough time for Mike Randall to come on and attempt a long field goal. The kick is up, and it is just barely good. So it is now 21-20. Wildcats on top of the MSU Bulldogs. Who saw that coming today? Not me. Two turnovers for the Bulldogs, two for Kentucky. But Kentucky capitalized on both Bulldog turnovers. Here is White on the return. Garrett misses the tackle. He gets it up to the 23 or 24. And there's a holding call. And we'll drop him back to the 14-yard line. Wenge with a carry. He picks up four yards. Kentucky only 27 yards on the ground. MSU with 204. Third and five. Wenge in motion left side. Wagner goes deep, and he misses his mark by about five yards. And the Wildcats will punt the ball away. Rose kicks it deep to about the 41-yard line. And there's Jeremy Tate. Jukes a couple guys out still going. What a return by Jeremy Tate, almost returning it to the first down marker. Sets up the Bulldogs in great field position. Joseph options left side, keeps it himself. Pitches last second to Kenny Harding on the fullback option up to the 11-yard line. He puts Harding over 40 yards today. Harding in the backfield. Bryson Davis gets the wide back sweep. He's got space in front of him, and he's going to walk into the end zone for the Bulldogs touchdown. They take the lead now, 27-21. to 21. Wagner's going to option himself here. Nice spin move by the pocket passing Wagner. Did not expect that move from him. Spun out Donnie Kramer. Motion man to the right side. Wagner's going to throw it. He is sacked and fumbles it. Luckily for the Wildcats, Buenge recovers it. But he was crushed by Benson. Big defensive tackle that we signed. Wagner looking to throw. Right side caught somehow by Blair in triple coverage. He's been their go-to guy today. Four catches, 88 yards, and two touchdowns. It's Buenge up the middle, and he is stuffed a yard or two shy of the first down. That was Desmond Mikuloff on the tackle. Bulldogs get the ball back, and they're going to continue the ground and pound option game as Bryson Davis jukes the man out of his shoes up past midfield to the 45-yard line of Kentucky. And it's a draw play here to Bryson Davis, and he'll pick up eight or nine yards. You don't see the draw play too often from this team. Bryson Davis, 146 yards on 13 carries. And they'll give it off to Harding up the middle here. He'll pick up six yards and a first down. Very close to 400 yards on the season. Not bad for a freshman fullback. Joseph looking to throw it here. Rolling out right side. Keeps it himself. Breaks the tackle. And he picks up eight yards on the ground. Closing in on 300 rushing yards as a team. 276 at the moment. As Bryson Davis picks up the first down, pays the price with a huge hit. Option left side for Joseph. He's going to try to throw it. He is sacked for a loss of five. So it will be second and 15 now. And they'll hand it off to Tremaine Young up the middle. And he picks up maybe five yards. Getting the five yards back that we just lost on the sack. Third and ten. Joseph going to throw it. Rolling out left side. Wants Bryson Davis. And he's got him in the end zone for the touchdown. And takes another nasty hit. But he holds on to that ball. And now the Bulldogs have a 34-21 lead. As he did get the ball over the line there. There's Buenge with some open space in front of him. His best run of the day. Maybe 12 yards. He's got 28 yards on eight attempts with one touchdown. 
Last play of the third quarter. Wagner over the middle, incomplete. And they will have to punt the ball away after going three and out. Fourth quarter now. Kenny Harding up the gut, picks up six or seven yards. And that'll push him over 400 yards rushing on the season. Joseph options left side, pitches to Bryson Davis with a lot of room to run past the 30, the 25, 20, 15. Still going. No, he stepped out of bounds at the 14 after that stiff arm. Joseph looking to throw it, goes deep to the end zone. Tremaine Young for the touchdown. 41 to 21 is now the score here in Lexington. So Bulldogs are starting to pour it on. Wagner looking to throw it, pressured and sacked. He fumbles it. It is recovered by Carney, one of the linemen. But another big time sack for this Bulldogs defense. Looking to put the pressure on the quarterback. Third and 18, screen pass to Wood. That goes nowhere. I'm not sure what the offensive coordinator is doing for Kentucky there. Bulldogs on offense again. Here's Harding getting a carry, picking up seven or eight more yards. Just big chunk plays right up the middle. Third and inches. Bryson Davis gets the carry. He gets the first down and more, maybe eight yards. And Deion Holtz has injured his hand on the play. Third and 13, Joseph scrambling right side, throws it to the end zone. Bryson Davis can't get his hands on it. The Bulldogs will send on Mike Randall for another field goal attempt. It's about a 43-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it is right down the center. It's now 44-21 to 21 here in Lexington. As Wagner looks to get back on track, he hits Williamson for no gain on third down. But they will go for it down big in their home stadium. And Wagner goes left, drop, and he's got it, but he only picks up maybe four yards. Bulldogs will take over on downs. Huge stop there from the Bulldogs. And here's Tim Lewis, the third string halfback. I remember a few videos ago I said I didn't even know his name. But that is it, Tim Lewis, everybody. Here's Bryson Davis with open space in front of him up to the five-yard line. Bulldogs threatening again to get in the end zone. Trying to get 50 points today. First and goal, Kenny Harding up the gut, untouched for a touchdown. They do reach 50 on the day. 51-21 is the score here in Lexington. Last play on offense for the Wildcats. Wagner pitches it, and that goes way over Buenge's head and is recovered by George Tyler. Another turnover. Bryson Davis, 214 yards on the day. I believe that is the most we've seen from one player in the game. Tim Lewis with a nice 10-yard pickup. Actually, it was nine yards, but they did give him the first down. Give it to him again. Last play of the game. Picks up five or six, and he actually injures his chest on his fourth career carry. Well, that is the game. Mississippi State, after a slow, sloppy start, pulls away at the end, wins it 51-21 to against the now 2-7 and seven Kentucky Wildcats. It's now 16 victories in a row. For Ralph Kress as the head coach of the Bulldogs as they go for over 430 yards of offense but very sloppy today four fumbles and against quality opponents that's not gonna cut it we shut them out in the first quarter and the third quarter and fourth so they put up 21 points just in the second quarter Not Joseph good day passing Bryson Davis over 200 rushing yards two touchdowns Kenny Harding had a touchdown. Justin Garrett had a touchdown as well. Bryson Davis and Tremaine Young had receiving touchdowns. Michael Gallardo, the team of tackles with five. We were only credited with one sack, apparently. Four pass deflections. Five forced fumbles by the Bulldogs defense today. Three recovered. And that's a pretty good day at the office, I think, for one of the top-ranked defenses in the nation. Take a look at the rest of the games this week. Oklahoma State beats Colorado. Oklahoma stays undefeated. Georgia Tech beats NC State. Iowa loses in Connick Stadium to Illinois, 21-6. No surprises yet. It's Miami beats Rutgers. Virginia Tech beats Pittsburgh. Memphis beats Houston, 57-11. Wow. 
UCF gets throttled by Toledo for their second loss of the season, 33-7. That is a shocker there. Georgia beats Florida in the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. That's a freaking mouthful to say. UTEP destroys Boise State, 48-24, on the blue turf. Next week, we take on 3-5 Alabama. It's a regional broadcast. Crimson Tide looking to turn their season around. I'm not going to expect an easy victory. You can never count out the Crimson Tide. I'll see you guys with that one uh, next Saturday. But I'll see you Monday with some more Madden. Take it easy, guys.